Hey guys, it's Oscar. I'm here for a shave of the day recap again. I actually shaved yesterday, um, but I didn't have a chance to um, to make the video. I was just in a hurry. It was my first day back to work, first night back to work after um, a week and a half off, and and I just had a lot of running around to do. So, so I'm doing the video today. The shave actually took place yesterday. This was one of several packages that actually came in while I was gone. I was out of town and back in Colorado visiting my brother's family um, for a whole week. And this was here when I got back. It's part of a pass around that I participated in in the Shave Market Facebook group. Um, it it includes a uh, a soap and an aftershave from this company here, Uncle John's. Uncle John's shaving soap, made in Berlin, Maryland. So um, uh, I'm going to talk about the products first, and I'll talk about uh, the company and the website, at least a little bit of that I've been able to find out on the website. Now, um, I have seen some shaves of the day, and I have seen um, the Uncle Uncle John uh, in some of the um, forum Facebook pages and whatnot. And if you've ever seen his picture, this picture here, that's him. That's John. Beard, hat, that's him. Um, really comes across as a real down to earth guy from um, what I've seen as far as his comments and his contributions into the, um, into the, um, you know, whenever the discussion groups and forums and whatnot. So, um, but I was happy to, to participate in this. I jumped right in when I saw when, uh, the, uh, the admins from the shave market put this out. And when I found out that it was going to be this particular scent here, the pipe smoke, um, now I know I've used a couple of tobacco type soaps, um, like Peter has uh, Casablanca and the Savoy, Douglas has Cavendish, for example. And, but this one, I, I haven't used an actual uh, cherry scented. So, but what I got from this, it wasn't tobacco smoke. It wasn't what you, to me, it wasn't what you might smell in a cigar lounge when you walk in. And it wasn't, and I don't think that it was meant to be based on the scent description, but the first thing I got from this was cherry, like, like six, six and a half on a, on a scale to 10, as far as saying strength of cherry. Now, as far as the tobacco, what I got from this wasn't the tobacco smoke or the tobacco as it's burning. What I got was the tobacco while it's sitting in the jar or in the pouch before it's even put into the pipe. I've delved a little bit into, I enjoy cigars, I've delved a little bit into pipe smoking, but um, this, I, I didn't get tobacco out of this until um, almost the shave was done and after the shave, to be honest with you. Um, again, that's subjective. It's my particular, my particular sniffer, if you will. But again, what I didn't get the, the scent of burning, to, of burning cherry pipe tobacco. What I got was the scent of cherry pipe tobacco, if you've ever been into a tobacconist when it's in the jar that you can take the tobacco out of if you buy it in bulk or um, if it's in the pouch just open, that's the scent that I got. Almost reminded me, it's a very fruit forward kind of a scent. Um, almost reminded me of actually um, the lilac and fig from from Phoenix Arms and Accoutrements um, in the sense that that one I smell fruity Jolly Rancher and I kind of got that from here too. Again, that's me, but that's what I got from this. Um, what what was a little misleading was, unless you look at the scent profile and you see, just see pipe smoke, um, I was expecting more of a tobacco-y um, pipe smoke tobacco scent, and that personally isn't what I got until later, and even then it was faint. Um, but to me, this is, if you described it as, just cherry tobacco, to me, that would be a better description. But again, that's me. Um, Performance-wise, well, package-wise, it, it's a, you know, standard four-ounce jar. Again, this is a pass-around, so the level is pretty low by the time it gets to me. So, But I'm assuming it's most likely, you know, right to about here, kind of like your standard four-ounce jar that most of the vendors use, um, you know, allowing you room to lather, um, you know, directly out of the jar. Um, it's a harder soap as you'll see, but the lather performance was near the top. It was a very enjoyable shave. I, again, I, I don't want to say that I didn't like the scent. I really did like it. I enjoyed it, um, more fruit forward than I expected. Um, but it, it was still very enjoyable. The slickness was 
top notch. The lathering, I gave it just, um, I used my uh, two band finest restore here and it was a good standard, you know, 20, 25 second load. Um, and the lather held up really well, even again with my hard water and standard three pass shave. It, it still feels very, very smooth, the aftershave. Um, feel, the post shave feel was really good. Um, so I really enjoyed the shave. It's a good product. Um, four ounces, 15 bucks. So about um, three seventy five per ounce. So it's kind of standard, I guess, as far as the um, the price to volume ratio. So um, the website is Uncle John, no H, Uncle John's Soap um, dot com, and he sells a variety of shaving supplies. Now, also in the past round was the aftershave. Um, now, as you can see, I don't know if that's just from the past round or it kind of settles in the bottom so you really need to shake it um before you use it it's a milkier color it's not as clear as um most aftershaves i would say there was a little bit of um viscosity in fact i feel it now there was a little bit of viscosity um during the application so um i would guess that a little bit a little more a little goes a longer way if you will um so it wasn't as alcoholic as some of the other aftershaves maybe from paa that you might use um, but it did provide a good, um, you know, a good kick during application. So one thing, I actually replaced the electrical tape that came to me in. But um, you got to be careful. It either, I don't know if this is the way it's made or that's just how it got to me. There was no flow restrictor. So it was a good thing. As soon as I took off the cap, I, I looked because this, if you're not careful, it's one of those jars. It's one of those bottles that you can spill the product all over the place without even knowing or without even expecting it. So, um there was no flow restrictor on this one. I don't know if that's how it's manufactured, but that's how it came to me. So, um, but the scent is very similar to, actually I probably got more tobacco -y scent from the aftershave than I did from the soap, um, which is not to say a bad thing at all, but that's just, that was my observation. Um, and if you're not familiar with Uncle John's, um, I'm gonna go on his, oops, I'm gonna go on his website um, real quick and kind of um, delve into it. Uh, he has a variety of products. Um, on the tablet. He has a variety of products. As far as his shaving supply goes, his shaving supplies go, uh, I only saw four cents of shaving soap. They're all four ounce jars. Um, one cent is Cedar Lodge. One is this pipe smoke. One is Bay Rum and one is menthol. Um, again, look at the web page and, and kind of uh, research for yourself. But he also offers those same four cents in aftershave. Uh, the price of the soap again is four ounces for 15 bucks. And the price of the um, aftershave, standard size bottle, I want to say it's 100 milliliters. The price of the aftershave was $18. So 15 and 18 um, makes $33. Now, one thing that confused me a little bit, and, you know, not to point out the negative, it's just an observation uh, to keep in mind. He does sell a set of soap and splash for $35. Now, individually, they're $33, but if you buy the set, it's 35. So, um, I was a little confused, um, with that, but, um, again, under shaving supplies, he also sells, um, shaving accessories. He has, uh, shave oils, um, pre-shave balms. Uh, he has some Bay Rum pom hair pomade. He has samples of soap, mustache wax. He sells a sh straight razor strop, um, and some Allen block and a couple gold dollars, two oh eights. Um, so that's under his shaving supplies, but he also carries um, some natural, some bar soap. He has beard care products, other products and accessories as it's listed. He has laundry soap actually, and he has bath bombs. Um, he offers something called a soapscription, which is basically a soap of the month club. And then he also sells soap making supplies um, among a few other things. Again, he's based in Berlin, Maryland, and all his information is based on his website. So. But that's, uh, again, it's Uncle John's with no H, UncleJohnsSoap.com. And uh, I just, you know, I noticed that sometimes during these pass arounds, somebody, you know, nobody really posts their, um, you know, their impressions or their review, if you will, um, on the products. And then it just gets boxed up. And, you know, unless you do the, some footwork, um, you don't really know, uh, you know what you're getting until you use it and then i mean obviously the best way to gauge your own impression is by your own use of something but um i always find it helpful to get a little intel on what i'm using um 
prior to using it. So I hope this was helpful. Again, this was a pass around for Uncle John's soap, pipe smoke scent, soap and aftershave um, put together by the Shave Market Group. If you're not a part of it, check it out on Facebook. Uh, you do uh, kind of have to ask to join and then the admins, um, you know, kind of approve you. You go through a little initiation, kind of a fun, uh, kind of a fun, uh, would you rather type of question that, you know, kind of, um, you know, just kind of initiation. It's fun. It's more fun than anything, but, but I really like the, uh, the, um, I hate to say control that the admins have over the group, but, um, it's not in a negative way by any means, but it kind of helps kind of keep the, keep the group a little smaller. And, um, and so I have uh, nothing but good things to say about the shave market and shave group. So that again was my pass around, my impressions of the pass around from Uncle John's. Um, check it out again, unclejohnssoap.com, no H, unclejohnssoap.com. So check it out. All right. You guys have a good day and be well. Peace.